Business owner who was invested heavily in the city is speaking out tonight. He feels the crime problem in Cleveland is out of hand and he's requested a meeting with Mayor Bibb to find out why it's taking so long to hire more police officers. Here's Michelle Nix. You know, we're in Euclid, we're in Cleveland Heights, we're in Shaker Heights. You call the police, they come. That doesn't happen here. You know, it could take hours, it could take days. That's not acceptable. Douglas E. Price, the CEO of K&D Property Group and a stakeholder in the city, says unfortunately crime is happening far too often. Whether it's murder, shooting, stabbings, robberies, assaults, or car break-ins, the violent and sometimes petty crimes are not just downtown, but all over Cleveland. But the mayor says according to the numbers, crime is down. You know, I think everyone's level of frustration has gotten to the point where Cleveland has so many right things. Why do we have to put up with this? Price tells me Cleveland police officers are working overtime to keep law and order, but the police force is short by more than 200 patrols. Council can't do it. We can't do it. The administration needs to do it, but they've got to get to the bottom of it. It can't take 12 months to, from training class to putting an officer on the street. It's ridiculous. The mayor's office of communications responded by saying we are actively pursuing new ways to attract and retain police officers and are exploring partnerships for additional support. We have invested in new technology and strategies to enhance public safety, improve response times and modernize operations. As the shortage of officers has led to a domino effect, including the courts not being tough enough on crime. There's no consequences. You know, and unfortunately in society, if there's no consequences, that's when bad things happen. And, and we're seeing the result of that because the police are spread too thin and, you know, the, the, the guys that are doing these things know that. Right. So there's no fear of consequences. I think it's all through the city that, um, you know, poor neighborhoods, you know, they probably get the least attention. The mayor's office of communications telling 19 News, ensuring the safety and security of our residents and visitors is a top priority. And the Bibb administration is steadfast in its commitment to combat crime. While crime has decreased overall in downtown Cleveland, we understand the frustration of residents and business owners across the city as we work to address these challenges. Years ago, we had buildings in East Cleveland. And, you know, you're to talk about a situation. They're just, they're, the safety force is totally broke down. And we had to leave because when, when you don't have law and order and you don't have safety forces you can call, you, don't, you, you can't live that way. Reporting in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News.